Hey YouTube, what's up? Peace, this and I'm your big brother online. And on this video, I want to share with you the factual, actual information behind the historical significance of a great American holiday that we know as Juneteenth. Now, I want you to watch this video, stay with me to the end because I'll have a little surprise for you at the end. I always say the good stuff for last, and this video is no exception. I got a little surprise for you at the end, and you don't want to miss that. So stick with me. We're going to talk about Juneteenth. Now, before I even begin, I want to bring up the word history. Now, history, if you divide it into two, two syllables, is two words. It's his and story. So now this account of Juneteenth is my story. And so I'm going to bring it to you now. Now, Juneteenth is an Ebonics word, which simply means June 19th. Now, President Abraham Lincoln signed into law the Emancipation Proclamation. And what that document stated was, is that as of January 1, 1863, there was no more slavery in America. It was over with, it was abolished, it was done with, the end, no more slavery. Well, now that was in 1863. Fast forward two years, down south, slavery is still going on. Well now, word of that didn't settle too well with then President Abraham Lincoln. So what he did was, he dispatched one of his top generals, a man by the name of Gordon Granger. He told him, he said, listen, go down south. I want you to have a big press conference. Take 2,000 troops with you. And that was a lot of troops back in those days. You know, skirmishes and battles now, they have 30, 40,000 troops right off the top. But now for this, Abraham Lincoln said, go down south, take 2,000 troops with you, hold a big press conference. I want you to invite all of the media and all the plantation owners, and I want you to tell them that slavery is over. Read the Emancipation Proclamation to them and tell them I said to cease and desist. Tell them they don't want me coming down there. So this man, Gordon Granger, he goes down to Galveston, Texas, and he holds this big press conference, and all the plantation owners are there, and he tells them, he said, hey, look, in so many words, Abraham Lincoln, he's fed up with this. He's not playing with you guys. Slavery's over with. In slavery, or you're going to get locked up, or you're going to get yourself in a whole lot of trouble. So now, I got a hold of an actual slave narrative at this point. Once the press conference had been held, and General Granger read the Emancipation Proclamation to the slave owners, I got an actual slave narrative of what happened. There was a man by the name of Reynolds. Reynolds. Shouts out to all the people named Reynolds out there watching this video. But anyway, there was a man named Reynolds, and uh, Master Reynolds, as he was called, uh, was really, really upset and frustrated and disgusted by this news that he cannot deny that he has to face the music on now. He was really, really upset about it. And so he went back to his plantation. And so he sat down on the back porch of, of the big house of his big mansion there on the plantation, and he sent a text message to his overseer out in the field who was watching the slaves work. And Overseer, Overseer Jones, shouts out to everybody named Jones on this video. Overseer Jones got the text message and he looked at it and he read it and he said, Attention, everybody, Master Reynolds wants to see all the slaves on the back porch of the big house immediately. And so now, according to this narrative, the slaves started mumbling because they want to know what was going on. One of the slaves said, Man, I got a feeling this ain't going to be nothing good. Every time they call us up to the big house, it's for, it's for something bad. Something ain't right. So another say, oh, I know what it is. I know, I know what they're going to do. They're going to stop letting us be off on Saturday night because every Saturday night we go to the club and everybody call in sick the next day. So they're going to cut our club action out. Another slave said, no, 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 no. That's not what it is. I know what it is. So they're getting ready to crack down on the dress code. There's too many slaves out here picking cotton with their pants sagging. The women is walking around in high heels picking cotton. And uh, they're getting ready to crack down the dress code. They're going to make the men start wearing neckties. And so this is about the dress code. So they just mumbled. They were trying to figure out, man, what in the world does Master Reynolds want with us now? So when they got to the big house, Master Reynolds was sitting there in his chair. And Master Reynolds made this announcement. Here's what he said. He said, just want to let everyone know that President Abraham Lincoln has signed the um, Anticipation Doc, well, let me try it again. He assigned the Emancipation Proclamation calling for slavery to be abolished. And so the slaves, they looked around at each other. And one slave raised his hand up. He said, he asked Master Reynolds, he said, well, what is that? What does that mean? Master Reynolds says, 
the Emancipation Proclamation simply means that slavery is over with, it's the end of it, you don't have to work here for me no more, you're free, you can go. So another slave raised his hand up and said, well, Master, where are we going to go? Master Reynolds said, well, I don't know where you're going to go. All I know is you're free. You can go now. So then another slave raised his hand up and he says, well, Master, if we want to stay here and work and live on the plantation with you, can we stay? So Master Reynolds, at that point, he got a light bulb moment inside his head. Master Reynolds had been sitting down. He stood up. He said, attention everybody. Kunta Kinte just asked a very good question. He said, if you want to stay here and work and live with me on the plantation, can you stay? And the answer to that question is, yes, you can stay. We will give you free room and board and free food, and you can stay here and work on the plantation if you want to stay. So at that point, Kunta Kinte said, I got one more question. He said, now if we stay, the man on the horse with the whip and the gun, what are you going to do about him? Master Reynolds said, oh, no, no, he's gone, he's gone. We're going to get rid of him. That's over with, that's done. So now, some of the slaves, time they heard Emancipation Proclamation had been signed, they left. Some more slaves waited for it to be explained to them. They asked, they said, what is the Emancipation Proclamation? And then once it was explained to them what it was, they hightailed it out of there. They got out of there. And then a small contingent of slaves said, hey, listen, we know we're free, but we're going to stay here. And for the ones that stayed, it didn't get any better, it got worse because they had more work to do and the conditions grew worse down the plantation. It, it matters only got worse. Now, my question to you is, you've been emancipated and proclamated from the devil over 2,000 years ago. It's time for you to tell the devil, devil, I've been emancipated. I've been proclamated by the blood that Jesus shed on a little hill called Calvary. Jesus died for my sins. I'm set free. You need to look that devil in the face and say, devil, I ain't your hoe. You ain't pimping me no more. You need to get yourself free. It's time for you to celebrate your 4th of July independence, your June 19th Emancipation Proclamation, and tell the devil you've been set free. What is it that's separating you from God? Is it that you don't understand what freedom is? Like some of the slaves didn't understand what it was. Okay, let me explain what freedom is. Freedom is, you just say to the Lord Jesus Christ, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. I thank you for setting me free. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart and save me. Lord, I love you and I'll serve you all my days. That's how you get your emancipation proclamation. I want to encourage you to do that. Don't waste time. Don't wait till next year, next month, next week. Do it right now. Get your emancipation proclamation and be set free from the slavery, that evil, wicked slave trade of serving the devil, you can be set free today. Today is your day for emancipation, proclamation. Listen, if you got a question about what it means to be saved, to live the saved life, how do you get set free, you don't understand what this is, you can inbox me, send me a, a question, I'll answer any questions that you may have. Listen, I'm your big brother, online, peace, I love you.